Hi, JP Fornia of The Movie Jerks here, coming to you on day 16 of 31 Days of Horror, the month where I watch a new horror film I have never seen, every day until it reaches Halloween. So, yesterday we had Shattered Dead, today we get... Lamageddon. <laughs> oh, jeez, whatever happened to haunted house films? Um, a woolly terror from space, okay, uh... A killer llama from outer space crash lands on Earth and brings death and destruction to everyone in its path. Okay, these are all films I've never seen. I'm starting to understand why. When Attack of the Killer Tomatoes came out back in 1978, it was such a cult hit that it encouraged other filmmakers and production companies to make their own parody-type film, poking fun at and embracing the ridiculousness of 50s and 60s B-movie schlock horror or schlock science fiction films. What Attack of the Killer Tomatoes demonstrated was that cheap, low-budget films could be made and gained notoriety if it was self-aware of its low-budget and goofy premise. And while some companies were able to make some crazy concepts work, other companies replicated the style and the imperfections of those cheap films and poorly made exploitation flicks. However, with the success of such films like Sharknado, there has been an abundance of films where the only creative effort is put into finding the most outrageous concept or even title and making the film around that. And just as a side note, you might have noticed that there is no poster for four-headed shark attack because a four-headed shark would have been ridiculous. These turds of films lack a creative voice, a respectable script, and even just simple effort. And I believe Lamageddon falls under that embarrassing third category. Yes, the film is attempting to be a comedy, and besides a couple of strange, absurd choices, where I was probably laughing because I was embarrassed not to understand what was happening, This film did not make me laugh. The humor here reminded me of watching a sports team in high school or university trying to pull off sketches with no comic timing, no jokes, and the humor appears to be copied material from other funnier films or TV shows, if not just inner jokes amongst themselves. But hey, if you're not having fun, at least they are. The film runs at 69 minutes, and as written in IMDb, under the trivia category, the 69 minutes is in line with the humor of the movie. Really? Oh, so that's the level of intelligence we're reaching here? 69, dudes! <gasps> Another joke is listed in the trivia, that the character of Dan changes his shirts 23 times throughout the whole film making it a new shirt every three minutes. If this was a Zucker Brother film, they would have the same joke, yet the shirts would get crazier and crazier as the film progressed. This film only had one somewhat funny shirt in the middle, demonstrating a lack of understanding the potential for extra jokes. And I think it's also fair to note that in the trivia, it does mention that you can see the cameraman in the mirror at the 33 minute mark. And this is listed in the trivia, not under the goofs, which means that this is probably purposely done, trying to mimic and recreate bad filmmaking. Which is my big problem here. A so bad it's good film doesn't purposely set out to be a terrible film. But through odd, strange, and often under psychologically deranged reasons, it becomes an oddity. Purposely bad films is low-hanging fruit for lazy, unoriginal writing. In the goof section, it does read, This film got made. This self-awareness is something that really pisses me off. And I'll get to that at the very end of this review. But before that, I do like to mention... When reading other reviews, I saw that the more favorable ratings focused on the llama, who is great. Again, whenever a film uses a real animal, it's always a bonus. 
However, the film very rarely uses any llama information or characteristics to justify it being a llama. Sure, we get uh, the llama spitting. Otherwise, it's just an alien invasion film. Throughout my years of movie watching, and some might say obsessive movie watching, I have seen a lot of schlock horror comedies, and I am never opposed to watching another one. I just wish some filmmakers would have more respect for their audiences. Sure, they are admitting that they're creating shit. Taking ownership of the shit you release doesn't make it any less shitty than the other pieces of shit out there. I would rather you give me shit by accident than to purposely and knowingly provide me with shit. Come on, baby. Come and get some. And there you go, day 16 of 31 Days of Horror. This time I watched Lamageddon. Are there any low-budget films that you think missed the mark and shouldn't have been released? Or are there B-movie parodies that you think deserve more attention? Let us know in the comments section. If you're curious about other films we're watching this month, be sure to hit our subscribe button. And for more information about The Movie Jerks, you can go to www.themoviejerks.ca.